No birthday cake or presents to open for Nathaniel Baggy this year. Instead of celebrations, his family is forced to plan his funeral. Relatives say Baggy had just come from a magic show with his sister and brother-in-law, Kess the Illusionist, as part of his birthday celebrations. They stopped off to eat doubles from his brother, who was selling at the time on Cipriani Boulevard. His family claims that an argument later ensued between Nathaniel and a male customer who refused to pay for an extra doubles. They say the man went into his car and returned with a knife and stabbed Nathaniel several times. This happened approximately 12.30 on Saturday morning. When CNC3 visited the Baggy residence, his mother Anjani was too distraught to speak. But his aunt Jamala told us about the moment she learned of her nephew's killing. A horrible phone call. Three o'clock this morning. Three o'clock this morning to be told that my nephew, my nephew Nathaniel Baggy, was stabbed, was stabbed to death. Shamala said, unlike her sister, she is not willing to pardon the killer's actions. As my sister says, she forgive them. I am not brave enough to say I forgive because I have two sons as well and I can't face this. She told us Nathaniel was into the trade of air conditioning, had two young children to support, and was well respected in his community. That young man is loved by the entire community of Diego Martin. Everyone was, they couldn't believe it. He had two children, Nathaniel Jr. He have a baby, we didn't even name him properly as yet. Who gave them the rights? Who gave them the rights to take his life? It has been a very difficult few weeks for the Baggy family as the recent flooding severely damaged their home and now the loss of their loved one. A 21-year-old suspect has been arrested for the killing and Shamala is calling for justice to prevail in the matter. For CNC3, I am Chester Zambrano.